Right. I did a video, a um, couple of videos ago, and it was showing you how to create a nav group and how to open windows within that nav group and all the rest of it. With the release of iOS 7 and Titanium 3.1.3, .3, um, that has now been deprecated, and instead there is a new class called Create Navigation Window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this create navigation window what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the code that I used from the previous video with the navigation group I'm going to, and I'm going to show you what changes you need to make to use this navigation window okay so first here's the simulator as you can see this is now um, I'm using Xcode 5 so this is all the iOS 7 stuff so this is a navigation window and here it's just the same as before if you remember you have buttons to go back and buttons to go forward so it looks a bit different but it's it's just in line with the new styling so let's have a look right so here's the file and um, this is startup.js so if I just actually I'll just show you right so we have app.js what we do we're including this startup module putting into this variable calling the start app function from that variable so in startup.js here's the function we're calling and what this does is it opens our nav group so this code is the same code as I used in the previous video so what I'm going to show you is there are three changes you need to make right so change number one the new nav windows no longer require a container window it is now itself a top level container and cannot be added to other windows okay so the first change is you do not need this what we had before where we we were creating a container window okay the second change is you use um titanium.ui.ios.create navigation window whereas before it was titanium.ui the iPhone dot create navigation group okay so that's the correct syntax for this new class and yep yeah, everything else same there and then change three if you remember when I went through um, how you open a window within that nav group with the nav group what we would have here is we would have nav group dot and it would just say open okay but with this new navigation window, we need to do dot .open window. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I just wanted to make this as a quick video because I did add a um, like an annotation to the previous video mentioning that the the class had been deprecated. But I just thought it'd be easier to just do this quick video and show you it working. So yeah, so just to, again, just to skim over it. Change one is you do not need a container window. <clears throat> Sorry, you do not need a container window. Change two is you now use this create navigation window and it's in the dot iOS, not dot iPhone. And change three is you must use open window as opposed to open. Okay, and that will give you this. Um, the simulator might look a bit weird, and I'll just explain that is. Because with Xcode 5, there now is no simulator for the um, non-Retina iPhone. And that is a bit annoying because that was quite handy when you were um, recording and all the rest of it because you could actually see the phone. So now I'm using the 4-inch and I believe I've got it at 75%. If I have it at 100%, it's just like you can't see anything. I have to scroll and obviously that's no good. So yes, yeah, so anyway. I didn't really matter, but yeah, so hope that helps you out. Any questions, send me an email, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, right? Cheers.